Along the edge of beautiful Lake Union sits Gasworks Park. For those unfamiliar with the site, it might look like something out of a steampunk film set. But these large cylinder structures are actually remnants of an old gas plant. To understand the history of this Seattle landmark, we have to go back to 1906 when the then Seattle Gaslight Company developed this piece of land into a gas plant that fueled the growing population of Seattle until 1956. When new sources of gas and energy made its way to Seattle, the gasworks plant was closed, but that wasn't the end for this 20 acre plot of land. It was really just the beginning. Following the plant's closure, there was a lot of talk about what to do with the site. These cylinders have been releasing pollutants into the ground and the water for years, creating an environmental nightmare that wasn't just gonna disappear overnight. In fact, there's still issues with it today. But where some people saw toxic soil and a load of problems, landscape architect Richard Haig saw potential. Haig, who died in 2018, lobbied to create a park on the land, reusing the cylinder structures and even removing the toxins from the soil. It took about six years, but he did it. Working with a soil scientist, Haig was able to mix organic matter with the contaminated dirt, which eventually resulted in detoxifying most of the land. Have you ever lost your breath walking up this hill? I do every time. Okay, I'm standing on the Great Mound, or as it's come to be known, Kite Hill. This is actually where most of the toxic debris from the gas plant ended up. It was placed here in a large pile and then capped with 18 inches of hard clay. But today, this is actually one of Seattle's most popular spots. You got a beautiful view of the Space Needle, the sundial here on top, but few people know what they're standing on actually used to be toxic debris. The Great Mound opened to the public in August of 1973, and the park was fully open in July 1976. The park hasn't changed much since the 70s. Fences were put up around the cylinders not too long after the park opened to keep people from climbing onto or into the cylinders. Today, Gasworks is a notable spot on the Seattle skyline. It's a fun place to walk, bike, or just sit and watch the boats on Lake Union. The one thing you don't want to do, though, is swim in the water directly around it. In addition to contaminating the soil, its history as a gas plant also polluted the groundwater and sediment. The Washington Department of Ecology says much of the contamination in the upland area was cleaned up between 1971 and 2020, and restrictions were put in place to keep people from being exposed. Like these signs telling people not to swim in the water, though a lot of people still use this spot to launch with their paddle boards. But there's still work to do. The Ecology Department finalized plans in 2023 to move forward with more cleanup of the site. The plan is to cap the shoreline soil, treat shoreline groundwater, dredge and cap sediment under the water, and set up monitoring moving forward. Planning is still taking place with construction set to begin in 2027. It's estimated to cost about $73 million, which will come from the city of Seattle and Puget Sound Energy. The park remains an iconic historical landmark in the city as the last standing gasification plant in the country. For now, it's a great spot to come down, see beautiful views of the skyline, have lunch, chill out, just don't climb on the cylinders or swim in the water.